Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Brock, Tactical Strain Harrell. Um, this evening's video um, is going to be about being tactically in shape. So, a lot of people are going to question, you know, what, well, what is that, you know? Okay, so, being tactically in shape, sorry, I gotta have my nicotine. Being tactically in shape is being prepared for when your gun fails. So, you got your firearm, you know, you're trained with your firearm, you're ready to go with it, you know, I mean, you just, you're, you, you know what you're doing, you're on point, you know, but, as they say, um, I'm trying to turn down on the profanity on my channel, SH happens, so, you know, what you have to be able to respond to that. So, if you're not in shape, or you're not properly trained, or you don't have some type of training, you are going to be in a world of SH. That individual can very easily, quickly get to your gun. What if that person, you know, I mean, what, what if this dude is, you know, fast as lightning? You know, he's not big, you know, he's not, you know, strong strong you know but he's got a knife or you know his gun jammed and you went for yours and something went south you know and what for whatever reasons is something just went south you know, like I said this is a video on being tactically in shape and how SH happens you know so we're gonna make a scenario skinny guy comes on to you you know, doesn't know you have a doesn't know you have a firearm. You know, wants your money, wants whatever your wallet, your keys, whatever whatever he wants. You know, so he comes at you with the knife. You go to pull your firearm. Either the firearm doesn't you know come out you know the way I mean something just goes like I said sh happens. Your hands are slippery. It falls. I mean, you so, you know. That's why we always train. I tell people train every day, so SH doesn't happen. But in case it does, you need to be trained on how to respond. So I tell people all the time, work out. Now I know there are older people out there, but they usually got you know, <laughs> they usually got more than one gun on them. So. If SH happens, you know, with their appendix or their side, they're going to go for their, you know, their ankle gun, back up and go for their ankle gun and fire on you. So, you know, you, I mean, you could choose to do that too, but most people carry one firearm on them, you know? I mean, as far as I know. So, let's just go back to that scenario. Now you, you, you've either dropped your gun or now the predator is seeing that you have a firearm but weren't able to get it out. And he's fast as lightning. And now he moves in like a, you know, some marathon runner, you know, and he's got a knife. And you weren't able to get to your gun or it fell out of your hand. What are you going to do? Because now he could slice you six ways till Sunday, and you know, now instead of you being as trained as you are with your firearm, had you had it out and at the ready, you know, and been able to put the threat down, now you're the one leaving in the ambulance. Which leads me to if you are able to work out or practice, you know, 
certain, you know, techniques, you know, to, you know, I'm not talking about sprinting marathons, but, you know, you know, certain techniques, you know, like how to back up real quick or how to, you know, move to the side, you know, or practice, you know, backing up real fast so you can try to redraw again and get that, you know, threat on target and fire. So make sure you work out. You know, the younger generation, you should, I mean, you, I mean, I shouldn't even have to say anything to the younger generation. I mean, you guys should already be working out. I mean, literally. Anybody in, you know, anybody that, you know, that's able to, that's legal to carry a gun, 21 and up, um, should, should, uh, should be working out every day. Um, it's funny because I see a lot of people in my area here in Indy that, you know, carry their Glocks, you know, and they're overweight. And I'm here to tell you right now, if SH happened to them, they would be in a heap of SH again. They would have some serious problems. So, like I said, here's a, here, you know, here, here, here's a drill for you. Now, if that opponent's coming at you and he's trying to come in quick, you need to make sure you're backing up the whole time. You need to make sure you're, if you're going to draw your firearm, you need to make sure you're backing up the whole time. You know, if you, you know, you know, you're just having an off day or whatever, or you were, you just didn't see him coming, you know, you need to make sure you, you, you back up while you're drawing and try to back up and while you're backing up, you know, as fast as you can to draw a firearm, even if you can't get extended all the way out, even if you just get it extended from here and get one shot off, that's going to deter him. Hopefully it hits him, you know, and if you're on point and you're practicing your shooting and you're practicing focusing on your irons and, you know, if he's coming in from that quick, you wouldn't even need your irons. You're going to hit him anyway, you know, probably most more than less likely right, you know, in the sternum abdomen area, depending on how tall or how short. I guarantee if you're firing from here, he's going to be hit somewhere in the, you know, sternum to the abdomen area. So, you know, that would be enough to, you know, allow you to, you know, back up. Then, you know, come from here to here, you know, and fire another shot, you know, depending what round you're on or what drugs he's on. <laughs> If he's on meth, he may still come at you and fire enough rounds until the threat is down. So my advice is please work out, train. I mean, a gun is just a tool. A gun is just an extension of your hand. You know, yeah, you may know how to use it. You may know how to clean it, you know, but you need to learn how to be trained. What if, what if, what if we weren't allowed to carry guns, and all we were allowed to do were carry knives? What would people do? A lot of people would die because they're out of shape. They're not trained. They don't want to get trained. And you know, Americans, you know have gotten too used to, you know, relying on their firearms and eating whatever they want and getting, you know, fat as all H-E double hockey stick and, you know, well, I'm not worried, I got my gun. Well, dude, somebody else may have a gun. And what if you are on point that day and he's firing at you, you know? Are you quick enough to get behind some cover? What if you're not fast enough to boo? You know, you, I mean, you don't have to be like Hussein Bolt, but I mean, you got to be somewhat quick. I mean, if you weigh 334, 345 pounds of fat or, you know, 280, 280, 90 pounds of no muscle, just cheeseburgers and you got your Glock and you're in a firefight, you know, you're going to have a 
hard time moving around, aren't you? While you're firing. So, I mean, like I said, even if you got your aim down to a T, you need to work out. You need to train. It is, it's so important. Practice your flexibility. You will be surprised what that alone will do for you. Just practice stretching. You know, practice, you know, not even, not even doing, if you're not, if you're overweight and you're not needing, I mean, just, if you're overweight, just do girl push-ups. Get on your knees, you know, stay on your knees and do girl push-ups, you know. I mean, get halfway in shape in case something goes wrong you still can respond and you still can move quick enough be trained enough to survive until you get that firearm back in the fight on target down to the threat and put the threat down and on that note that's what I wanted to make this video about uh, tonight ladies and gentlemen and I live what I preach so I'm just putting it out there you know please working out is important that is that that's if, if you ask ask me or anybody I mean that's a lot of you know all of this tactical stuff you know being in shape how are you going to hide behind a tree if you weigh 380 pounds? You know, who's not going to see you? I mean, you got, I mean, just work out. Try, please. You can be as good as, you know, Jerry Mickelock, well, you know, if I pronounce his name right, the fastest shooter in the world, you know, but I mean, if SH happens that day and you're not in some type of decent shape, you're in trouble. You're going to be the one going to the ambulance or, you, or, 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 you know, having your family at your funeral. So, with that said, God bless, God bless America, and I just wanted to make this video to encourage people, you know, to work out not only for their, you know, safety but also for their health, you know, because, I mean, the Chinese and the Asians and people in other countries, they laugh at us, you know, because we're all overweight, and you know what, F them, but try to get in shape, please, and literally, but get in shape and then go get, and go and then go get some training because if you're out of shape I mean it's kind of hard I mean it's, it's just some things you're not going to be able to do so try to lose a little weight get some training because your gun is only an extension of your hand it's just a tool it can malfunction anything could happen I don't care if you clean it every day Anything can happen at any given time. You've got to be ready. On that note, God bless, God bless America. It's your boy, Brock Tactical Train Harrell. Have a good evening. I'm out.